Hey everyone, Mike Sherry here at Paul Sherry Used Cars. Behind me is a really clean 2020. This is a GMC Sierra. It's the 1500 or the half ton they call it. And this is a special edition pickup truck. It's SLT trim, but this thing is decked out like a Denali would be. And when I typically see special editions on automobile trim levels, it means you get a lot of equipment without the price. This is the Texas edition. And this thing's got a lot of equipment on it. Really nothing negative to point out and walking around and driving. Drives really good, which is shut. It's only a couple year old truck with low miles. It's got the 5.3 liter V8, eight speed automatic transmission. Uh, and a lot of equipment. So let's jump into this truck and uh, we'll take a look at all of it. Front windshield, I always like to check for rock chips and stuff because I just know that can be annoying, right? And I don't see any. A uh, front end up here has got your chromed out grill, chromed out front bumper. In that front bumper are parking sensors, which is nice. Uh, especially in a bigger truck, you know, these trucks just keep getting bigger. It's nice to know where you're at so you don't run into something in the front. Headlights are clear, fog lights look good down low. So it's got General Motors alloy wheels, GMC. Uh, 20 inches on those wheels wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler tires. Tires are, you know, good tread there, so no issue there. Uh, and then here's your Texas Edition badging. You got your running board down low here, looks good. This is what I would consider a crew cab or the large cab. That means you get a lot of foot room here if you sit in the back. And also what's beautiful about these, the seats fold up, that one will fold up as well. Uh, so if you need some more just like inside space, you've got it. Now interior, interior cleanliness wise, very clean. Smells good, no weird smells. I don't smell any smoke smell or anything like that. So the perimeter seats back here are heated and then you got plenty of power. You got 12 volt USB power right there. Coming back here, exterior color, they call this Summit White. Boy, does it look good. Even like the fender flares are painted, all looks good. Got your little step here in the corner of the bumper uh, to help you reach things out of the bed of the truck. Got rear parking sensors back here. It's got that multi-flex tailgate that does a little bit of everything, which is cool. Uh, you, you can lower just that part, portion. You can lower the whole thing. This flips out. There's all kind of crazy stuff. I'm no expert in them by any means, but uh, it's got the releasing tailgate, dampening tailgate, factory liner in the bed here. It's got a, looks like a, a tonneau cover there, a Vortrack, and I, I believe this is power as well. So that's kind of cool. A big box up there where it all rolls into. You got four way lights and your seven pin round wires. It does have the two inch towing receiver there. There's your backup sensors there. Uh, so that towing uh, receiver and those that seven round lights hooked into your factory brake controller, which is gonna be really nice uh, if you are towing anything. All uh, right, yeah, as you can see, the outside's just really impeccable. Looks really good. All right, let's check out the inside here. You got your uh, mirrors that have the blind spot assist in there to let you know when you're particularly on the highway if someone's beside you in your blind spot. Again, leather seating. It's got the perforated inserts. Those are important up here. I'll show you why here in a second. Power seat, power lumbar, Bose radio system. Again, very clean. I got it running here. It's got, uh, check here, 31,641 miles on it. No warning lights on on the dash. Automatic headlights, power locks, memory seats, power uh, mirrors, and check this out, power fold-in mirrors too. Yeah, that's nice if you park in the parking lot or the street. Even your garage sometimes, those tighter garages, you got the power windows, plenty of storage here in the door, leather wrapped steering wheel, cruise control, forward collision, uh, has heated steering wheel, Again, these are options I typically don't see in an SLT. Uh, this will allow you to control that center cluster there. Uh, it's got the touchscreen radio with everything on it. Um, get into the stuff. So audio, you have got, get into source here. You got FM, radio, let me see. Here we go. AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth are your sources on the audio. 
It always takes me a second to figure that out. I don't know why. Navigation, factory navigation. Uh, looks like it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, so you can hook up your phone and get your podcast and real-time navigation off your phone and all that. So uh, I'll go ahead and put it in reverse. We'll check out that back camera. Yep, looks good. Uh, it's got your tow hitch spot right here. So if you're backing up to a, a truck or a trailer, you're going to be able to hitch it in because it's got that downward view right where the ball is going to be. Uh, some tuning buttons for your radio, heat and air conditioning controls. It's a dual zone, you have driver zone and passenger zone. Uh, it's got, okay, here we go, heated seat and vented seat. So I mentioned those perforations in the seat itself. That allows cool air to actually come up and cool the seat, which is really cool. Uh, it's got lane assist, parking assist, automatic start stop. Um, this will lower the tailgate, uh, traction control, and this will turn on your power outlet, which is probably yep, right there. Uh, so all that's cool. Here's that electronic brake controller I mentioned earlier that allow your brakes to work on your travel trailer or cargo trailer. This here is where you put your phone and it actually charges your phone. And then here is your keyless entry with lock, unlock, remote start, and then again you can lower that tailgate from that. Beverage holders up here. And then look how deep that is. You could fit a lot in there. Uh, if you're like me, uh, you probably would fit a lot in there. Stuff I wouldn't even know is in there. And then you got USB plugins up here. You can program your garage doors up here. Uh, and then you do have power window back there. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. And then you do have an opening skylight up here. So I think I hit the high points. There's a lot to it. Uh, looks like uh, no accidents reported on this. Scores really good. This is the history report. I would agree with all that. This, this is a clean truck. If this is what you're looking for, um, not hurt at all. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I uh, appreciate it. If you like our stuff, uh, just like uh, or comment below. That will help me out. And uh, if you have any particular questions, by all means, call in one of our assistants. I uh, will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.